my teacher from the graveyard. Today is the first day of school for Claire. I wonder who my teacher is, he wondered. I heard that Mr. Ed has pimples all over his face, Clay said to Dallin. I heard that Mr. Bones is the substitute teacher and he is really bony and doesn't like kids, Austin told Clay. Clay went to his desk, sat down and waited quietly. Suddenly, the door opened and Mr. Bones creeped in. Good morning, class, he yelled. David began giggling then. Mr. Bones took David's head off and slam dunked it into the toilet. Open your books to page 213 and do all of the 40 division problems, he screeched. Cody said, we don't know division, Mr. Bones. Mr. Bones chopped him up into 70 pieces and divided him into 10 parts. Now you know division, Mr. Bones screamed. What about language, Cameron asked. We don't do language, we do burying, Mr. Bones answered and Cameron disappeared. Deanna, Ashley, Austin, Skyler, and Sydney were in shock. Skyler blew a bubble with her gum. Come here, said Mr. Bones with a spoof and a spat. He trapped her inside. He trapped her inside her own bubble of gum. He blew his own big bubble and said, No chewing gum in class! The bell rang and the entire class was excused for recess. James went down the slide first. Mr. Bones was at the bottom of the slide, stretched his mouth wide open and ate him head first. Hello? Recess was over, so Clay and his fellow classmates returned to the classroom. Mr. Bones took roll. David is in the toilet. Cody is everywhere. Cameron is hiding. Skylar is about to pop. James used to be here, and Sydney and Emmy were quivering at their desk. Emmy, come to the board and do 119 divided by 7, Mr. Bones ordered. Problem was, Emmy didn't know division. Mr. Bones sent her back to her desk and called upon Clay to do the problem. Bang, boom, pop! Suddenly Clay heard a bang. He woke up and realized that he had been dreaming. It was all a terrible nightmare. And in came the real Mr. Bones. With a cheery smile, he wrote his name on the chalkboard. He was wearing a tie. He had skin and flesh, and you couldn't see any of his bones. Good morning, class, he said with a grin. What a relief, Clay sighed. The end.